Wait! Come back! The guest rooms, where my father, all our entourage, and I should have passed the night lay cold and silent. The sands of time had swept through, stealing life and warmth from everything they touched. And I, who unleashed the cataclysm, had been spared. Were there others like me, who yet clung to life, hiding in fear among the ruins? It did not seem so. Had I really seen her? Or had my senses given way under the burden of horrors too great to bear and conjured up a phantom? Either way, I could not rest until I had found her again. I soon discovered that when I had collected enough sand, the dagger gained the power to stop time. Not for me, but for the enemy I struck. I'll start the story from here next time. Whence came these visions that assaulted me thus like fever dreams? Each time I awoke feeling drained and beaten. And each time, what I had seen came to pass. As if the sands of time were giving me a glimpse into my own future. What just happened? 
that straight. Same words. From now on, I trust no one but myself. Run! Go back to the reception hall. Wait for me there. Go! left India, she had been there. In the desert, I had felt her dark eyes upon me. Now, here she was again. She and I, the only two survivors. Did I say two? Excuse me. We were three. I did not understand the meaning of what I had just seen, but I knew, with a certainty I could not explain, that those winged creatures had a master. The man who had tricked me into opening the hourglass now had his prize, and for some unknown purpose coveted the dagger as well, would stop at nothing to possess it. Well, I would give him what he sought. I would plunge it into his foul and treacherous heart.
I'll start the story from here next time. <laughs>